What is up, YouTube? Kids Miss Primary back at you with yet another video. And like I do every year, or the first few weeks after Christmas, I traditionally like to review some of the big ticket items that I received for Christmas. I know that last year I did my review of Kylo Ren's lightsaber from the Disney store. The year before it, I did the vest from Sons of Anarchy. And I was really curious about, of all the things I got for Christmas this year, which one was I going to review first? I really can't do the mini fridge, because it's kind of hard to review a fridge, and it's over there. I really thought about doing the jerseys, but there's enough jersey videos on YouTube. So I decided to review the thing that I showed last in my video, which, if you haven't watched it, I recommend you go and go watch it, because it's a good video of a good haul. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this. The WWE Universal Championship. Now, some of you may be thinking, didn't you already do a video on the Universal Championship? Well, that was on the version that we see on television. This is the replica. Now, some of you may or may not know that I previously did own a WWE belt before. I previously owned the 2013 Scratch Logo belt as it's properly known. It was the title that was introduced in 2013 by The Rock. And interestingly enough, before this belt came along, I was actually considering getting the championship that's on SmackDown, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But my mind was changed when this belt came along and it was introduced instead. So it's basically almost the same thing, but there are a few noticeable differences. Now, there are quite a few differences between this belt and my previous one. First of all, this is obviously a recolor of the Network Logo Belt, also known as the WWE World Heavyweight Championship or the WWE Championship, whatever you want to call it. I still call it what it was originally known by, which is the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But of course, there are some noticeable differences. First of all, the strap obviously is red. At least on the front, it's red. On the back, it's black. That's the way it is with all replicas. The strap is one color. If it's white on one side, it's going to be black on the other. The same thing goes for the Intercontinental Championship and the both Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. I think the same thing also goes for the tag team titles for Raw and SmackDown. I think the same thing goes for those as well. So that's one major difference. Another is that the underscore on the WWE logo is black in color as well as on the regular WWE logo. It is red. And I can see why they did that, because it would have blended in too much with this. I mean, kind of seeing it on the Women's Championship for Raw, it does kind of blend in a little bit too much. And another little noticeable un that not many people know is that these little uh, stones in the corners on the sides here, some of them are red. Well, on the World Heavyweight Championship, they're still the regular uh, stone color, which is, I guess, clear, I suppose. Crystal, silver whatever you want to call it. The other big difference between this one and my previous belt is that my previous belt was a commemorative belt, which means the plates are plastic. This one is a full-on replica, like... Not sure if you can hear that, but... That's metal. Zinc alloy metal. Whole belt, at least the plates, are metal. The strap is the same type of strap that you would find on the commemorative belt, but a little bit more, you know, durable. But the plates are metal. Very good quality metal. On the back, if I flip it over, unlike my previous belt, which was made by Figures Toy Company, this one is actually made by WWE Shop itself, and as you can see, there's the little copyright stamp that they emboss on every one of these belts, and a little sticker, which you could peel off if you want to. And of course, on the back, you do have all these screws, so if you do want to take the plates off and have them re this belt re-leathered, you can do that. And much like my previous belts and the, the World Heavyweight Championship belt, the side plates here are interchangeable. Now, I was originally going to get Finn Balor's side plates as a little Christmas gift to myself. But unfortunately, just like AJ Styles' side plates, sorry Josh, his plates are sold out. I don't know why they sold out so fast, but they're sold out. I mean, 
And I kind of thought with Chris Jer or with Kevin Owens being the current champion, I thought his plates would sell out sooner, but guess I was wrong. The stock side plates are the same ones as the World Heavyweight Championship. It's just the globe with the WWE logo on it, so the same stock side plates. And eventually, I will get a set of side plates to go with. I do want a set. I said in my video that I couldn't decide between Finn Balor, Triple H, or Seth Rollins. I was originally going to get Finn's, but unfortunately his are sold out. I was tempted to get Seth's, but someone discouraged me because Seth's plates are kind of very popular. And it'll feel kind of like I'm just running with a crowd. And a couple people have told me Triple H because of the design on his plates. And it's just because they weren't on the belt for very long, or at least on this belt. But most people have also told me Seth Rollins because he's in the running for this belt. At least hopefully he will be, because here's the praying that Roman Reigns loses at the Royal Rumble to Kevin Owens. Because I don't want him as champion. But the other thing that will distinguish this belt from a commemorative is its weight. This, if you've never held a replica before, you will, it is, will be very much of a weight difference. These things are heavy. At least if you're not used to them. If you're used to commemoratives, this thing is going to be pretty heavy. This thing weighs about, I think about 4 or maybe 5 pounds. Let me, let me pull up the WWE Shops page on my laptop. I'll see if I can pull it up here and I can get the weight of it. I think it's between 4 and 5 pounds. But I'm not 100% sure. Let me just pull this up. Weight is 5.62 pounds, or, or 2,550 kilograms. Is it kilograms? No, just grams. My bad. But still, roughly about 5 pounds. Whereas the commemoratives are much lighter, so if you're used to commemoratives, this is going to be pretty heavy to you. But if you've owned previous replicas before, and I'm talking about people like Adam Mentality World and Andrew Sabazo, I believe his name, last name is pronounced, then you're going to be used to the weight. But, yeah, this thing will fit up to a size 46-inch waist. I'm not going to put it on because no one who's held this title has worn it around their waist. And I really don't have the, the space to do it. Like, I don't really have able to turn my laptop to able so you can see me, but it doesn't matter. So, overall, if you are a WWE fan and you like this belt, then I would recommend you pick it up. But, I will mention that the replicas do not come cheap. These things can get expensive. Belt collecting itself is an expensive hobby. That's why this is probably going to be my only belt I get. But, yeah, if you really are a full-on belt collector, then I would definitely recommend picking this sucker up. If you want something cheaper, then I would recommend you go with the commemorative. However, I will tell you that on the commemorative, these side plates are not removable. So you won't have an option available to you. But I would say if you have the money, definitely go for a replica because they are way better quality than commemoratives. And they're certainly more of a collector's item. Not many people collect commemoratives. It's all about the replicas. But this bell was certainly a worthy investment. I got it for a huge deal on WWE Shop as part of the Black Friday sale that they were doing. I don't remember exactly... How much I paid for it, but it was definitely cheaper than the regular retail price. So, if you can get your hands on this thing and you like this belt, I would highly recommend it. But if you don't like this design, or maybe you're more of a SmackDown person, then I would recommend going for the World Heavyweight Champion. Because it's the same thing as this, but just a different color scheme. In fact, this thing is the recolor. The other one's the original. But... I like it. I love this belt. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I will have this with me when I go to WrestleMania, and I really can't wait for WrestleMania. So maybe I'll get this signed. I don't know. I'm definitely planning on getting a set of side plates. Maybe I'll make a videos on those when I get them. But yeah, I guess that's about it. Later, guys. I am out of here.